Life trained. All right, so the first one we're gonna focus on here is just getting a proper front headlock, right? And the, I think we want to think about is, I want hand in the armpit, just like our stance, our elbows are in. If I'm in a front headlock and my elbows are out or deep, I would never get in my stance like this. I shouldn't be in a front headlock like this. Well, I'm in front, so it's training your body off a down block, off a snap down, or any exchange. Instantly, boom, my elbows are in and I'm attacking position. So armpit elbow is in, chin, chin hand, my elbow is in. And if it's not the way I want it with this hand, then I'm moving, right? We just get, a guy grabs our elbow and we're just content with that, right? I'm snapping, I'm keeping the guy reacting the whole time. I'm readjusting, I'm pulling his head down. I'm gonna keep moving until I get to where I wanna be. But just drilling this and putting yourself here over and over and over again, you're, you're focusing on getting that right position, muscle memory. So when you get to a match, boom, you're in that position. So armpit, chin, Elbow in, and I always want to make sure his chest, or I'm sorry, his head is in my chest. It's not in my belly, right? It's not off to the side. So as he's moving, I'm constantly focusing on making sure his head's in the middle of my chest. So when we're doing this drill, so however you want to start, but right away, armpit, right? I'm not extended here. My elbow's in. I'm trying to, I'm always in, in a front headlock. I'm always trying to pull, and I'm always trying to pull his head down to the ground, right? That's the motion I want. This is, I want to keep my, I want to get his butt, I want his heels off his butt. I might pressure into him, but when you want to score effect, effectively, I'm always trying to pull this guy down and in. So with my, when I'm here, I'm not like this, right? My um, elbows are in, my shoulder's in the middle of his back, right? And my elbow, or change this way, right? It's my chin elbow. This is the one where we lose discipline so often. We down block, guy grabs my elbow, and we just hit him with our arm here. And it's hard to score here, right? But if we can just retrain ourselves to just, we get in this front headlock, guy's ripping my, gonna get my elbow, and I'm just ripping it, and I'm never letting him get here, this chin's in his elbow. I mean, we talk, I mean, there's so many different things, right? I personally, I'm not too often where I have both feet in the air. I like to have my chin hand this knee's gonna be down when I'm in my front headlock. And as I start moving, right, I might start rotating up, but I think for learning process, I like whatever hand that the chin's on, that knee's gonna be down for now, right? So when we get this position, last thing, I'm thinking about his head being buried, right, in my chest. So even though my elbow, or I'm sorry, even though my shoulder is in his back, his head's not peeking out, right? So I'm not like this, because I wouldn't be in a stance. This, I would be in a stance like this. So always think about how my stance would be. So as I'm here, I'm, I, I'm always using my elbow and I'm kicking his head and I'm burying it on the inside of my chest. So as I'm wrestling, so as we start moving this guy around, I can pressure in, I can snap, I can pull. Maybe I switch the opposite side. I'm pressuring, I'm pulling, I'm moving. It's the same thing. If you were to stand up and I'm in my collar tie, it's the same thing as I am in this front headlock. If you want to come up to your feet, again, I'm fine with that, but I'm still focusing on this out, this hand, or this, uh, his head being trapped underneath my armpit. Uh, his head being trapped underneath my chest, not my armpit. So that's the first thing, getting into our proper front headlock position. Armpit hand, elbow in, chin hand, my elbow's not deep. Always think about where my stance would be, and I always want to replicate that in my front headlocks.